<laughs> He's so cute. Hi guys, I'm Megan Graham and I am here with two of my three Yorkies. I've got Alfie here and Poppy who does not want to be in the video, so we'll put her down for now. And today I am here to talk to you guys about male versus female Yorkies. So I'm just going to tell you that I did research, I always look at my keywords, and it didn't look like this was a really popular keyword topic. That said, I keep having people ask me the question of, should I get a boy Yorkie or should I get a girl Yorkie? And so because so many of my viewers are asking, I thought I would just make a video since I have one male Yorkie and two female Yorkies. Um, I also had another male Yorkie and a female Yorkie when I was just a child, so I have quite a bit of experience with different um, sexes of Yorkies. I will say that I've also had two Labrador Retrievers, one was a male and one was a female, and there are some differences. Um, that said, if you are thinking about getting a Yorkie and you're laboring over which one to get, you can get either and you will be perfectly happy. Um, if I only had one of my dogs, I would be super, super happy. It doesn't have to be, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can't take away two of my dogs now, but whether I had a boy or a girl, they would be great companions. So in my personal experience with my Yorkies, and I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below, do you have a male Yorkie or do you have a female Yorkie? And if you don't have a Yorkie yet, which one were you hoping to get? I would love to hear from you, so please be sure to comment that below. Also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of great videos up about having a happy and healthy life for you and your pets, and also a beautiful life. So, okay, female Yorkies are super, super sweet. They're very cuddly. They love you so much. I will say they are just a little bit more moody than male Yorkies. So my female dogs are super, super sweet, but they are much more prone to fighting with each other. Um, so that's kind of one interesting thing. I feel like a lot of people would think that the male Yorkie might be the one doing the fighting. This is Alfie. He is a lover and not a fighter. He never starts fights. He's actually kind of afraid of the cat, but the girls are not afraid of the cat at all, and they just throw the cat right off the sofa. So the girls are actually a little bit tougher, so that might be the first thing that you might not expect. Um, another very interesting thing is that my female Yorkie, Lola, is actually the dominant dog, so she's the leader of the pack. So again, it is not my male Yorkie that is the leader of the pack, as you might assume would be the case. Lola is 100% the boss. Okay, so as far as being cuddly, all of my Yorkies are extremely, extremely cuddly. Um, if I get on the couch, everybody wants to be right around me. It's actually heaven. It is the best thing in the world. Um, that said, he follows me around. Yes, your mama's baby. So he follows me around all the time. Um, he's always watching me. If I get out of the shower, he's on the shower mat. When I get home from work, he just like trots all over. Um, my husband took a video of me the other week when we were getting ready to go out, and I think I was walking down the hallway, and every single time I stopped, Alfie stopped as well. Um, the girls are a little bit more independent, in my opinion, than the boys. So Teddy, as well, who was my first male Yorkie, also followed me everywhere. He was very doting. And the girls love me as well, so it's not that they don't get attached to you or anything like that, but the girls just don't stick right by my side all the time. They kind of go up on the couch and they do their own thing and they go to sleep in their beds. But this guy, as you can see, he's still in my lap while I make the video. So he's with me all the time. Now, when I first got my first Yorkie, I did not want a male Yorkie. I don't know why, but I didn't think that they would be as fun. I didn't think they would be as social and as cuddly. And I wound up getting a male Yorkie simply because that was all that there was left. And I have to say, I never looked back. I never regretted it. I couldn't dress him up in quite the same way. So I will say Alfie does have a ponytail. He does wear little jackets. He's still really cute to dress up, but 
I don't think you'll be disappointed if you get a male Yorkie or a female Yorkie. Now here is where you might see the difference. My male Yorkies have all liked to occasionally mark and they have done so inside the house. Alfie has done it much more than my other Yorkie, Teddy, but Teddy sometimes would surprise me. So one year it was Easter and we were at my mom's house and Alfie, no, I'm sorry, Teddy, I get them confused all the time, lifted his leg and peed on my mom's ficus tree. So he rarely did it, but he usually did it at unexpected times when we were visiting someone, probably because he wanted to mark in their house. My female dogs really don't do that. So that is a little bit of an advantage, but I also sometimes just put a little belly band on Alfie, which is really easy, or a diaper if we go to someone's house. It does look silly, but if that's the worst thing that I have to do to have this super super cute little guy then it's totally fine so this is poppy and as you can see they also look very very similar so there's not a big difference in the size of my Yorkies poppy is a little bit more shy than Alfie but she's still really really sweet and whether they are male or female I think you'll find that they are beautiful Lola come here Lola, come. Lola. That's not working, is it? Okay, I guess we'll just go get her. Okay, so this is Lola, and as you can see, she does not like to be in the limelight. She is so... Come on, you gotta look at the camera. This is Lola, and she does not like to be in the limelight at all. Come here. Let's see if we can turn you like this so you have to be turning to the camera. She always runs away when I have the camera out, and she does not want to be the star. Okay, it's so funny. As soon as I have my camera out, she knows. Guys, I really hope that this video was helpful to you. If there's anything that I want to express, it is that you will be happy whether you have a male or a female Yorkie. They are amazing dogs to have. They're super adorable. They're very similar in size. They are great companions and the training is really relatively similar. Guys, I hope this video was so helpful to you. The main point that I want to make is that you are going to be happy whether you have a male or female Yorkie. They are just the best dogs to have. They're so full of love, they're so fun, and I could not recommend the breed more as long as you don't mind barking. I hope to see you guys soon. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments below. Stay healthy and stay beautiful.